crazy and he's going telephone crazy. That's right. Now is the time to get all the telephones and telephone equipment you've always wanted because crazy and he's got telephones and he's got them for less than anybody else. Telephone answering machines, automatic dialers and cordless telephones too. Shop around, get the best prices you can find, then go to Crazy Eddie and he'll beat them. Crazy Eddie's going telephone crazy. See Crazy Eddie now. His prices are insane. Excuse me, one second. Hello? Same to you, buddy. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a millennial from another millennium. And uh, I created the brand only for, only for headaches, only for diarrhea, only for cough, only for cleaning supplies. Okay. I'm actually here to go see Dollar General. What did you do before American Eagle? I was actually uh, an electronic salesman in, uh, in, in New York. Do you remember Crazy Eddie? All right, guys, it's Sunday. It's quarter to 10 here, and I'm on my way. I think we're on 80, heading north up into San Francisco, and I'm with Morris in the back here. I would love for you to talk about what you did previously with American Eagle. Sure. Back in uh, 1994, American Eagle was started as a vertical to retail operations to feed straight into the retail operation product where we eliminated uh, uh, high costs of, of, of garments and what we did is we went into Mexico and we, we, we looked at Mexico as a, a supplier back then of t-shirts, basic t-shirts and what is we took the white t-shirt into a colored t-shirt, colored t-shirt into a printed t-shirt, denims from basic five pocket denims to wash and we became the first vertical to retail operation out of Mexico City and that's what I'm doing right now. That was in another life. But now what I'm doing is pharmaceuticals and cleaning where we find the white pill has to be merchandised correctly and digital to consumer and digital branding is the way to go to unify a single language uh, for merchandising product. So that's where the transition is from clothing all the way to to pharmaceuticals. It was called a crossover brand back then, yeah. where we try to find a product or a, an individual language that worked for the child as well as the father. And we try to find a t-shirt that worked for the father as well as the mother. And the whole family shopped at a store called American Eagle. I took that philosophy and I did it into pharmaceuticals where I merchandised and tried to create a single language to provoke a solution uh, for pharmaceuticals and cleaning supplies and another product. If you look at the papers or any type of advertising, Procter & Gamble, Gillette, put their brand yeah. on anything, on their 32 different brands. 32 different brands cost a lot of money to market, so they're trying to unify their company as the single brand multi-solution, which only for our brand, which is Solo Pod in Spanish. We have a trademark in 17 different languages, where the brand is unified in 17 different languages. This is fascinating. This is high level um, um, marketing. marketing. Yeah, but it's simple. It's, it's not, it's really, yeah. there's a saying back in the 1980s when we used to talk on the telephone to China yeah. and phone calls were $2 a minute. We used to say, keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. And basically what we did is we tried to make the, a, a two minute or five minute conversation down to 30 seconds, get to the point. And uh, I created the brand only for, only for headaches, only for diarrhea, only for cough, only for cleaning supplies. I'm actually here to go see Dollar General. Uh, and we're very big in Mexico right now. We're starting in the United States. I'm going to Canada hopefully soon to start it up over there. Okay. And uh, we feel digital marketing or digital to consumer is the new way of marketing where you have to give the solution to the customer even before he knows he has a problem. So today, customers don't want to take five seconds or 10 or, uh, or whatever to understand what's wrong with them. We have to identify the problem for them and sell them the product. Obviously, the product has to be work, it has to work. It's FDA approved and everything within the compliance of, of the country. Yeah, okay, I understand that. This is, you've established um, a need that exists that's out there. People have this need, maybe they don't, they're not even aware of it. And this simple branding makes it easy for people to, 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 to attach to it and um, yeah, and consume it. Yeah, exactly. Today, uh, people really spend more money on inefficient buying and they have a trial and error 
in their life where we can reduce that 20% of inefficiency and let them buy the correct product the first time around uh, actually helps everybody. It's a, we're, we turn out to be a commercial alliance for the store or, or the e-commerce brand that carries our uh, Wow. Well, this is fascinating. This is amazing. This is what you do. And this yeah. is, you started this with American Eagle and now American you're moving Eagle it into. And, uh, we also did it with a couple other brands. Uh, okay. But uh, basically, uh, a digital branding or, or creating a unified language in the marketplace is where to go. Is this, is this your company? Only for, I'm the founder. This is only for, this is your company. Yes, only for, I actually uh, had my experience eight years ago where I lived, I lived and worked in Mexico for 25 years and I got ill and I didn't have the time because the clothing business consumes you. So uh, I couldn't, I didn't have time to go see a doctor and I went to many, many pharmacies and, and whatnot. And I took about, I, without, a, without a doubt, three months, four months of, uh, of buying over-the-counter medicine that none of it worked. I finally went to a doctor and the doctor says, what's this? This is for pregnant women. Who sold you this? Said, that's what they sold me. So no, no, just take this. And that's when the Only4 brand came to mind. I, uh, I thought I was never gonna trademark it, but I realized Only4 had to find the right language that translated into, into many languages. And Only4 was those two words. Yeah. Not knowing they were the trademark it, and they gave me the trademark, Yeah. Only4. And this is how it works. This is how these this is how these ideas are yeah. are, are born to, out, of, yeah. out of um, experiences. Experience. You have yeah. to live it. out of experiences. Out of experiences. Yeah. Out of out of doing things. Exactly. Not just sitting on your couch and trying to create something. No, no. You yeah. Gotta, you got to. You're in it. I'm in it. I'm yeah. In it. And it and it took me seven years actually to get it off the ground. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Our company is based in Austin, Texas. Only Mexico. four guys. Yeah. So uh, we're doing okay. We're doing actually, we're, we're doing very well. Okay. And uh, Amazon is looking to buy us. I mean, we have a lot of proposals for uh, Facebook business unit, Amazon, all these new e-commerce companies yep. have given up on, on creating their own brands because I don't even think they understand what digital branding is all about. They understand what digital selling is all about, but not digital branding. The branding, they could have, there's room for improvement. Totally. Yeah. Uh, you know, and not too many brands have single brand, multi-solution, multi-category. Yeah. Only for headaches, only for window cleaning, only for uh, health spray, so only for- Only for, applies. it is genius. Yeah. It's everything. Applies to everything. Yeah. A lot of things. Yeah. So that was my work for the past eight years. Mm -hmm. Fascinating, yeah, and I'm living the dream. didn't <laughs> didn't people uh, criticize you on being maybe too broad? I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, my biggest problem was that everybody believed in it. The whole idea is I no. I generated a whole website and a whole platform, thinking people thinking this was in stock. It took me three years or two years to get the correct partners that I have a great group of yeah. investors and partners yeah. that are supporting the company and work as we speak. Yeah. Well, you should help me on my branding. Sure. My stories from the bay. I, stories from the yeah, bay. this is what it's called. This is my startup. This is my marketing. And it's similar because everybody that I talk to about it is like, oh, that's interesting. Like, the, it is simple. It is, I feel like it's really good marketing that I stumbled into. So, SOB. <laughs> yeah. Stories of the Bay. Yeah. Stories from the Bay is from what it is. Bay, yeah. Story. Oh, stories from the Bay. Yeah. SFB. SOB, okay. maybe. Yeah, yeah. So stories <laughs> from the Bay, yeah. Stories of the Bay. But this is, this is my startup. This is what I'm doing. This is my brand that okay. I drive around promoting, talking to people about. So okay. well, maybe um, maybe you can help me out in some time, capacity. I help a lot of people out. Yeah. I, I actually, it's a, it's a labor of love. I've yeah. been merchandising and a salesman ever since I was a kid, so I yeah. understand what people want. And and millennials today, people, you know, they, you, you, you criticize millennials, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a millennial from another millennium. I, I want quality, I want quick answers. You know, you don't have to be 17 or 25 yeah. to be categorized as a millennial. Uh, we're all millennials. We all come from an era or a part of our lives. We just are frustrated. We want quick solutions and uh, yeah. and the right product. What did you do before American Eagle? I was actually uh, electronic salesman in uh, in in New York. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember Crazy Eddie? Crazy Eddie. I worked for Crazy Eddie. <laughs> you did sure. not. Uh, Crazy uh, Eddie. Eddie Antar. Yes. Course. Eddie Antar, the Wiz. Michael Jamal, the Jamals. You the, worked with them? All Sephardic communities, Sephardic Jewish out of Brooklyn. That is uh, amazing. From Brooklyn, New York. That 100%. is so funny. Yeah, yeah, I grew up in Connecticut and I remember, I, of course we know Crazy Eddie. Six, four, five, the, Wiz. Yeah. the Wiz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you kidding me?
Yeah, Crazy that's, Eddie. That's a die. That's a you know he just recently passed away. Oh, did about he? About a year ago. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He was. Uh, well, he's been around. He was around a long time then. Yeah. There's yeah. actually uh, one guy who bought the brand, but I think it means nothing now. Yeah. It's just. It just uh, it was a great, great concept. He was a very dynamic guy. Yeah. And unfortunately, he passed away recently. Yeah. Well, God bless, uh, Crazy Eddie. Yeah. He start. He actually started this whole uh, selling. Uh, gimmick of how to get rid of merchandise quick and all that yep the, he was yeah crazy eddie guys okay morris well thank you very much for thank doing you. this to the channel this sure. was absolutely brilliant what a great ride we are here at our destination thank so thank you very much yeah I thanks appreciate man it.